14 high security command prompt CMD commands that an advanced user can utilize to harden system security and counter sophisticated hacking attempts. Type CMD in a search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Check for hidden files. Detect the hidden files which attackers may use. Type DIR C A H S. Attackers commonly use hidden files and directories to stay under the radar and maintain persistence on a system. After listing all the hidden files, you will be able to find and investigate this possible malicious file or directory. The sophisticated attacker may hide certain malicious activity tools, scripts, or configuration files. This command will help find those hidden files that you cannot see in a normal directory listing and aid you in investigating and mitigating the threats. Reset host files in order to protect against hijacking. Cyber criminals modify your host file to redirect traffic to malicious sites. In order to reset it, type copy C Windows System32 Drivers ETC Host C Windows System32 Drivers etc host bug next open the host file and remove suspicious entries the host file is crucial in mapping ip addresses to domain names however many attackers often modify it in attempts to reroute legitimate traffic to malicious sites such as phishing or malware sites since you already created a backup of this file you will be able to compare the original with the current one and identify unauthorized changes List and review system permissions. List system directories and file permissions by typing ICACLS C Windows System32. Attackers often attempt to modify permissions to escalate access or to disable some sort of security mechanisms. Inspecting the ACLs will help in spotting unauthorized modifications done to the permission of files and directories under System32, which tends to be a target by various types of attackers. List system permissions for potential weaknesses. To list user and group permissions on a system type ICACLS C T C Kill. This command lists all the files and directories from the root, showing current permissions of each one. It helps in determination of misconfigured or too permissive permissions which could be used by an attacker. Misconfigured permissions are used by sophisticated attackers to escalate privileges or access sensitive information. Running this command regularly summarizes the security set across the file system. This audit helps in policing correct settings of permissions according to security policies, hence minimizing on authorized access or modification. Disable the server message block version 1. To disable SMBV1 to be seen from exploits like WannaCry, type SC config landman workstation depend Bowser MRXS MB20 NSI Certain dependencies for the Landman workstation service to browser MRXS, MB20, and NSI restricts the system from using other services and protocols. This reduces the attack surface as other necessary services are not running, and only necessary services that have to be used will lower the level of certain types of attacks based on server message block. Use NetStart for active network connections monitoring in order to find unusual traffic or establish to potentially malicious IPs. Type NetStart ABLO. The B option is used to see the executables involved in creating each connection. It helps detect unusual or unauthorized connections to a system that can indicate malicious activity over such remote access or data exfiltration. Verify group policies for security breaches. List the group policy settings applied to the computer, showing any unauthorized changes using the following GP result, HGP report, HTML, 
poor group policy configurations result in security vulnerabilities that advanced adversaries will take advantage of. The GP results report provides you the identification of this type of misconfiguration, such as lax password policy, security features turned off, and open permissions, which could be used to lock down the system's security posture. Audit administrator accounts. List all users in the administrator group to ensure no unauthorized accounts exist. Type net local group administrators. By looking at that first, you'll be able to confirm whether only the valid and authorized accounts have administrative privileges. It is an important factor in privilege escalation prevention, which is a common attack vector by sophisticated attackers to take over the system. Disable null session shares vulnerable configuration. Null sessions can permit an attacker to enumerate shares and users. Null sessions should be disabled with break add HKLM system current control set services LAN man server parameters V restrict now says access C reg the word V one F this will restrict null session access to administrative shares and other sensitive resources. Null sessions are unauthenticated connections that allow attackers to enumerate shares and users on a system. It would make it a little more difficult for the attacker to get information about the network or otherwise gain unauthorized access. View audit policies. Check what is being logged. Ensure that security logging is appropriately configured to detect suspicious activity. Type audit pool get category. Attackers may attempt to turn off or modify audit policies to evade detection. This step ensures that the audit policy settings are in place and actually log occurrences of relevant events such as log on attempts, file access, and privilege utilization, which help detect malicious activity. Audit active sessions. Search for logged in users and remote sessions to identify unauthorized access. Type QWINSTA. The Queenstar lists currently active user sessions, including their session IDs and current state of the sessions. This gives administrators at a glance view of who is currently logged in, which can be useful to identify unauthorized or suspicious sessions that may be indicative that an attacker is lurking around. Analyze network traffic. Use the following command to start capturing and analyzing network traffic using NESH. Type NESH trace start capture yes. It begins to capture the network traffic including data packets transmitted over the network. It facilitates the observation and analysis of network activity for the purposes of troubleshooting or investigating the prospective security incident. Also type nest trace stop. The nest trace stop command stops a network trace running that has been started with the nest trace start command. This would run the command to stop the trace, complete the trace file, and stop it in its default location. It will include all the network data captured from the beginning of the trace app to when the stop command was issued. Protect your system registry. Change permissions for the registry to prevent unauthorized changes. Type rigid E C registry backup. Rec. Backing up the registry takes a point in time snapshot of the configuration settings in case of an attack that modifies the registry to affect system settings or disable security features. Use the backup to revert the registry to the previous state to minimize the impact of the change. Check security event log. Look for the following suspicious activity from Windows security event logs. Type WEVTUTIL QE security. Kill system provider at name Microsoft Windows security auditor F 
text. The command queries ensure security events locked by the Windows security auditing provider. Events like log on attempts, account management activities, and changes in security policy are fairly relevant for monitoring and detecting suspicious activities. Advanced attackers often use stealth methods of getting access, and through analysis of these logs, one can trace these activities.